Chip 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 from Pokemon. Ready Head to, go. to toe. I think that's Nightcrawler boots. I don't know. But um, and we're gonna be he's gonna be going to a Pokemon photo shoot later tonight. Next up, we're just gonna hang out. There's a lot of people here in cosplay already. Walking around silver body paint. I don't look forward to their bathtub later tonight. This is Keith and Trevor, and they're about to explain their thing on my little thing. So we're gonna Eric's whip out our things. things. Eric's, Eric's little, little thing things. is actually a lot bigger than he gives it credit for. But and, and that's the thing is it's been an exhibit at Dragon Con for many years now. Eric's thing. You can very popular exhibit at Dragon Con. I, usually in like one of the main ballrooms. Yeah, and the Cock of Fame, it, it's really up there. Eric, that was Green's a pretty thing. good one, actually. Thanks, My name is Keith Brooks. Uh, Trevor Garner. Uh, we are the co-owners of Beendit Productions. Beendit Productions. We make mostly pornography. Mostly men on man pornography. Uh, and again, this is where Eric's thing comes into play. Uh, we are here cosplaying as the Tick. And Arthur. Denizens of justice throughout the city. Yep. And uh, it's awesome to cosplay at Dragon Con. We're, we're promoting, um, I'm on a couple different panels about filmmaking, and Sunday's panel about The Walking Dead, and there's a Harley Quinn over there. Uh, and uh, I was macking on this cute chick over there a minute ago, and uh, that's that what was Dragon a man. Uh, what? Right now, Dragon Con, I am surrounded by 75,000 people who are just as nerdy as I am. It takes over five hotels. Yeah, it takes over the Hyatt Regency, the Marriott Marquis, the Hilton, the Sheraton, and the Westin, and it takes over the America's Mart dealers. I mean, the America's Mart um, conference center that's right next to it as well, and it's just huge. It's like the biggest thing in Atlanta. Uh, okay, so I've been coming to Dragon Con for like s fourteen. I got my math wrong. Fourteen years now. Um, since I was 16. This is my fifth year. Um, he took me to my first Dragon Con in 2012. Uh, then the next year we had a movie showing, uh, Deadpool Typical Tuesday. You can Deadpool find Typical that Tuesday. Uh, on uh, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, Beendit Productions. Beendit Produ this is my 14th year, yeah. I've been coming to Dragon Con uh, for about eight years, maybe? Yeah, eight years, no, seven years. Five years. I think my first Dragon Con was in 20, either, I think it was 2012 was my first Dragon Con. Oh man, first time at Dragon Con. So, I'm a bit excited because I'm just like, you know, first time, first time jitters. So, a bit of a virgin. So, I was actually looking for maybe a, a storm cosplayer, you know, for some marriage material or a slave Leia. That's cool too.
I got my Newports, you know, being real black and authentic. <laughs> Some people get drunk. I'm a little intoxicated myself right now. Um, and it's just like good, wholesome fun, you know? People just chilling. Uh, uh, some people dress up in cosplay, some people come out and take photos, and uh, it's, uh, it's cool, you know? When the guy got, it, got his appropriation shit, yeah. he was like, so you can stop driving this cool truck? He's like, driving it? I just bought this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, do y'all, we'll watch the Escape song? So what? The Escape. Escape? Oh, my little that's how we well, we, we, we can't keep, we can't keep it, you know, like, right, 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 right. you would switch that part. Right? Yeah, of course, of course, because, like, it's inappropriate. Hello, yeah. sir. Nice set, set. Yeah. nice set. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, you know Secret, right? Yes. Yeah, of course. I've actually okay. known her longer than I've known you. You want to meet up with Justin? Yeah. Is that, is, 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 is that what you want to do, Mr. Green? You should have learned sign language so you can communicate with the mascot. I was trying to, but we were trying to, but I was, I know. We was, um, me and John Prue went into the men's restroom to find Carnell. With the camera rolling. With the camera on in there. Nice. And um, so people was looking at me, but I wasn't realizing I had a big ass camera in my hand. <laughs> You're in the men's room. <laughs> and so when I left out the men's room, like this lady was standing up against the wall. And I was like, um, I got some great shots in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually, but I'm pretty sure. Can you call him? I mean, difference. I'll go knock on the one upstairs. We can knock the one down here. Mega. It's like 30 years sound. could be collected on a camera. I know that, Rick, but just open yourself up. Quit being such an asshole. Morty, what did I tell you about using that kind of language? I'm sorry. on basis of Jadis though. I was wearing that earlier. Um, yeah. Yesterday it was Star Trek. Uh, I'm dressed up as Moon Knight, uh, one of the many versions. Moon Knight has multiple costumes for his multiple personalities. And this is one of them. I'll be doing Moon Knight all weekend. The new Wonder Woman, uh, uh, based off the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. It's entirely made of leather. Uh, it took about six months of prep time and we assembled it in about one week. Uh, it's after hours con, so we're letting uh, Kate here rock it without the shin guards. But otherwise, this is a fairly complete costume. It's the first costume I ever made that was too big. You know, every costume I make, I'm like, it's not big enough. So this one I made bigger, and I'm like, it's too big. I gotta make it smaller. This is actually uh, the second year I've worn this costume. It's a Ren Faire original Superman costume. I made it for the Ren Faire up in Chicago. I have since moved to Florida. I've worn it at the Ren Fair in Florida. It's actually my favorite costume I've ever worn. Hi there, my name is Jim Kelly, and uh, this is my fourth year attending DragonCon. Now, my first convention ever was DragonCon back in 2013, 
which was a great experience and I've been coming every year since. Um, I have always wanted to be an actor and so that's why I got into cosplaying. I've always loved portraying these characters and ever since I started cosplaying, I have just loved not just dressing as the character but becoming the character. And right now um, I'm about to suit up into my Kamen Rider Kuga cosplay which is one of uh, the favorites amongst people that follow my page. It's also one of my favorite characters ever. Um, one of the cosplays that I do most are Power Rangers. I have always been a huge fan of Power Rangers and the Japanese counterpart Super Sentai and I love bringing these heroes to life and especially meeting children. I love seeing children's faces light up by seeing their favorite superheroes and also the faces of older fans lighting up, seeing the heroes that they looked up to on screen when they were growing up. You know, I'm here at Dragon Con, Black Panther, Mutant Lives Matter. I'm Moriarty from season whatever, when Moriarty fucks a lot of shit up, you know, lets prisoners out of jail, robs a bank, takes the crown jewels. That's me. This is my lovely Harry Potter Yule Ball outfit. I didn't make this one myself, but I thriftfully looked online and went to thrift stores and I could inexpensively throw this together for this event. I love Dragon Con. I've been coming here for 13 years. My th first con was when I was 18 years old, so I think that's 13. Yeah, I hate to admit it. I'm 31. I, right now, I am waiting for my friend Emily, one of my best dearest friends, to throw on her Slytherin outfit to go with me. I don't know what's up with this. Like, I'm a Gryffindor and literally all my best friends are Slytherins. I guess I like to surround myself with the bad ones so I look a little bit better. <laughs>